looks like now with the what we've done in part one with the the, the, the blue green the light blue now will be the remainder of the dress so first off for this is what's gonna look like and you're gonna do is gonna do one round so let me just take this off I'm just I'll just show you what progress has been made so far you did for the sleeves and you're going to put your hook into one of the chains that has a bottom just get it right there and do a slip stitch this is what it will make that's the previous stitch, I mean the first stitch, and here's the stitch that's going to happen. Once you get to this next round, you're going, it's going to join together. So, for this round, you are going to single crochet in each of this chain, I guess you could say it, all the way around. And just go like this. It might feel a little bit tight if you don't, uh, if you chain um, tightly, but you try to stay loose, and it still wouldn't really matter because this is what it is making. So now that you've finished, almost finished that round, you're going to start the new round with the stitch you did the slip stitch with so single crochet into that stitch and I'm just gonna put this in the back Tighten up the stitch. So what you're gonna do next is do two single crochet stitches, and then put two single crochet stitches in this stitch. And so you're just gonna do two single crochets. Um, and you can do one single crochet in two stitches, and two single crochet in one stitch. And be sure to put your marker in if you do that. But you can still use the tails as a guide, but it is harder to do it this way. I prefer to use the marker. But later on, you're going to need to use... Later on, um, you won't need your marker. So, now I just did two single crochet stitches in that one stitch. So, then I'm going to put one single crochet into that stitch. And then it's two single crochet right there and you're going to repeat this all the way around until you hit the marker and I'll show you what to do next after making the this round this will make it expand more in the this will make it expand more for the remainder of the dress. 
if you don't increase what will happen, it will make it, um, it really, um, makes it really, really skinny and it's hard to put on. And it, it doesn't really show the full effect of what Elsa wears in the movie. So, just continue, just do this increase. And if you do one single crochet, one stitch, and two single crochet in the next one, what will happen is that it will make it too, hmm, I I guess you could call it poopy because it makes it too wide and you don't want that. So just repeat all the way around. After you finished doing the two stitches in um, uh, the one single crochet stitch, you are now going to do single crochet around, no um, increasing. And you are going to do 17 rounds of single crochet around. And after 17 rounds, you are going to do the next part of the dress. I'm just going to stop here for a moment. So after doing a few stitches from the marker, you are going to take the tails from the, what you've done so far and just tie them together tightly. And this is what it makes. It can't even see it. And it's really tight. Just tighten it a little more and it won't come apart. Then you're going to get your scissors. Just cut. If you're not doing a stitch marker, wait until you get done with the 17 rows. The 17 rounds, I cannot speak today, I'm sorry. So after doing 17 rounds, after doing the two single crochet and one stitch, you are going to do, that's where you will tie it in. I'll show you what to do next after getting 17 rounds in. After doing the 17 rounds, this is what it will look like. You have done, for the remainder of the dress, 19 rounds total. Next, you are going to do is, if your marker made you go right here, you're going to do is go to this part of the dress. The reason is because the, because in, in, um, in Frozen, Elsa's dress, it go, the split is the right is on her right leg. So if it's off like this, um, you can just do a few more stitches, and I will do this. And um, you're gonna do just a few more stitches. And then you're gonna put the marker right here. It is right above her knee. Now you're going to do is let's continue stitching. Until you get to the marker. Now this is what it looks like with the mark um right before the marker. And you are going to take out the marker. Do one more stitch in there. Now place the marker back into that same stitch where you just stitched. Right there. You're gonna have the marker and that's what's gonna happen. So you're gonna chain one like you normally do for a single crochet. You chain one and do the turning chain. Now you're gonna go all the way around until you hit right here and I will show you what to do next. I showed you what it would look like on the doll earlier, and now this is what it looks like. So next you're going to do is, after you get right here, you're going to move the marker, and you're going to do a single crochet stitch in here. Now, you are going to do 13 more rounds. And you don't need a marker for this. 
And after doing 13 rounds, you're gonna have an Elsa dress. So this is just round two of doing making the split, and you have 14 total. And after that, you will have 14 rounds total making the split. That's what I mean. And um, that will be what the remain that's what the whole dress will look like. And then I will show you what to do next in part three. So just because this will make the display even bigger and it will look just like Elsa. Now after doing 14 rounds of the splits, you have 33 rounds total from the starting point from um, making the remainder of the dress, the scrap part. This is 33 rounds total. And what it will look on the doll, it will look just like Elsa. And I will show you. I'm just gonna let me just pull up the hook and put it on the doll to show. If you're not showing progress of the doll, here's what it will look. Like. I'm sorry for causing a little more time. I'm just. show you what it looks like and, and finish off like you normally do and there you go you got a dress that looks just like Elsa and once we get the cape and the shoes done it will look just like Elsa and the doll will look like Elsa I mean, after making the